Hi, my name is Pri Nonis. I'm a deep learning architect at the Machine Learning Solutions Lab. And today we're going to discuss a, a knowledge graph that we constructed uh, using the IMDB datasets. So let's take a look at the data that we used. The IMDB Essential Metadata Dataset contains a continuously refreshed metadata for every movie, TV series, video game uh, titles, uh, including performer details and other information such as the IMDb's world-renowned 1 to 10 star rating. Uh, furthermore, the detailed information such as awards, locations, keywords provided by holistic views uh, of 8 million plus titles and 11 million cast and crew members. Uh, this includes over 1 billion ratings from the world's largest entertainment fan community. And in addition to this, the IMDb box office dataset tracks box office receipts from domestically and internationally uh, comprehensive box office data for over 60 plus countries. Additionally, it includes production budgets, release calendars, and production status of upcoming titles. So what is a knowledge graph? A knowledge graph represents physical and abstract entities, for example, objects, concepts, situations, events, and it illustrates the relationship between them. This information is usually stored in special graph database and visualized in the form of a, a structured graph, prompting the term knowledge graph. A knowledge graph is made out of three main components, nodes, edges, and properties. Any entity could be a node, an edge defines a relationship between nodes. For example, a movie node may contain a, a connected, may be connected to a person node by a directed by uh, edge when such a relationship exists. Both nodes and edges may contain multiple properties that can further describe the attributes uh, of their respective. Uh, so using the IMDB dataset, we built a knowledge graph by analyzing hundreds and millions of uh, entertainment data points across 19 million names and titles uh, for uh, box office results from Hollywood to Bollywood to power our uh, search and discovery. So this particular knowledge graph captures the complex relationships that exist between all these entities in, in a way that tabular data organizations simply cannot. Now let's take a look at some traversal queries to understand the data contained in this graph. So here's a simple query result, which looks at movie nodes that connect both Tom Hanks uh, to Leonardo DiCaprio. In this case, uh, Catch Me If You Can movie node is uh, the only uh, common connection. Here is an example query result that travels the graph to find top grossing uh, films that were filmed in New Zealand and had a minimum INDB rating of at least 7.5. And in this example, we, uh, look at, we are looking at the results uh, for Oscar winners uh, that uh, uh, contained action and drama genres. Some of the most valuable insights provided by our graph is the millions of keyword nodes and the community has, that the community has painstakingly applied to each title. Keywords allow you to build semantic similarity between titles in your catalog based on common themes that describe them. This query result demonstrates some movies that share connections to a couple of these keyword nodes, in this case, Assassin and Spy. So, all right, so now that we have better understanding of how uh, media knowledge graphs were built, let's take a look at some applications. The knowledge graphs have many exciting applications. First, the semantic similarity of content slash title in the graph can be used to personalize the recommendations to users in multiple situations. It can be used to make cast recommendations based on historical performance of cast members in similar titles and themes. It can also be used to make projections on box office revenue performance. And leveraging the temporal box office revenue data in the graph, even optimal release dates could be uh, predicted based on the past performance of uh, semantically similar titles. 
This general architecture demonstrates the creation of our knowledge graph using Amazon Neptune graph database and then using Amazon uh, Neptune ML to export the, the graph embeddings to enhance the performance of our recommendation based on Amazon Personalize in these particular uh, situations. Uh, some of this work is still under research and not uh, publicly available, but we are working on that. Uh, now I'm going to hand it off to my friend, uh, Soji, to give a deep dive of uh, our out-of-catalog search uh, solution. Thanks, Pri. I'm going to talk about how we can use knowledge graph embeddings to power downstream machine learning tasks like search and relevance, especially a particular use case called um, out-of-catalog search. Now, we're going to be using knowledge graph embeddings. So before I go further, let me describe what knowledge graph embeddings are. Pre already introduced the concept of a knowledge graph. A knowledge graph essentially contains entities and relationship between entities. So these entities could be movies and the relationships could be the directed by relationship or the starred in relationship, denoting that a particular actor starred in a particular movie. Now, for many machine learning tasks, you need a numerical representation into the machine learning task in order to get uh, results. Right? And knowledge graph embedding is essentially a way to transform the nodes or the entities in the knowledge graph and the relationships between those entities into numerical representation. And so the numerical representation that we're going after here is a point in n-dimensional space. And so we say the particular node or relationship is embedded in the n-dimensional space, hence the term knowledge graph embedding. And so in this particular demo, I will show you how we can use this derived knowledge graph embeddings to power out of catalog search. But let's talk about how we can uh, how we can create this knowledge graph embeddings. I'm going to introduce a particular feature of Amazon Neptune called Amazon Neptune ML. Pre already talked about how you can create the IMDB knowledge graph in Amazon Neptune, which is the Amazon database for, um, for, for graphs. And now Neptune ML is a solution built on top of Amazon Neptune that allows you to use state-of-the-art deep learning algorithms to get out representation for nodes and relationships in your graph. Now, even though Amazon Neptune ML uses state-of-the-art graph neural networks, you don't actually need any deep learning expertise in order to run this. It's just by running a couple of different API calls. Amazon Neptune ML also allows you to scale to very large graphs, including graphs that contains billions of nodes and um, tens of billions of edges. And so for large-scale graphs like IMDB, um, we can scale the machine learning onto these graphs with no problem. And the reason why we want to use a graph representation learning framework is because the relationships between the entities, i.e. the movies and the actors, matter just as much as the entities. And so the embeddings that we'll be computing will be influenced by the, the nodes as well as the properties and the relationships around them. And we can do this without providing any human supervised labels. And these representations can also be used for actually completing the knowledge graph by predicting links that are missing but relevant to the knowledge graph. So let me give some more context about this out-of-catalog search application. The goal of out-of-catalog search is to use a knowledge graph to provide suggestions for items that you don't have in your catalog when a user enters a particular query, and, uh, but show them items that are in your catalog that are relevant to those items that you don't have in your catalog. And so the how of this is the knowledge graph, in this case IMDB, will contain items that you have in your catalog as well as other out-of-catalog items that your user may be interested in. And we're going to learn knowledge graph embeddings for all of those items using Neptune ML. And so when the query text doesn't match any of your in-catalog items, we can refer to the knowledge graph to get similar items that are in your catalog that match that particular query. I think a visual demo would actually be better. So let's go into that right now. So here we have a web application that allows you to enter search text for particular movies and get recommendations. So I'm going to enter the movie Coraline. And then there are some options on the left-hand side here for you to be able to toggle the number of search hits that's returned by the application as well as the number of recommendations per hit. I'm going to leave the default settings here and I've entered the movie Coraline and I'm gonna click Find and I will get the search results for movies that are related to Coraline. So assuming you don't have Coraline in your catalog, but you have maybe uh, the movie Puss in Boots or Rango, even though the user's search query didn't contain these items explicitly, you can still recommend the, uh, the user to watch some of these uh, movies. And now we'll do another example with uh, Toy Story. So I'm going to enter Toy Story, and then now I'm going to change the number of search hits to three. 
and I'm gonna click find. And so now this returns Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 4, and the top level results are based on the string matches from the uh, knowledge graph, right? And so if you, have, if you don't have Toy Story or Toy Story 2 or any of the movies in the series in your catalog, you can then recommend to the user uh, Shrek, Monsters Inc. or The Lion King. And then you can see that like, you know, if the user was interested in Toy Story 2, then the recommendations are closer, are the ones that are released around the same time, like The Iron Giant or uh, A Bug's Life, which is like released one year from Toy Story. Now this um, uh, recommendations and relevance, like I said, is powered by the knowledge graph embeddings uh, using Neptune ML. If you want to learn more about Neptune ML, you can visit the link um, on the screen below. Thank you.